Welcome back. We are here looking at the ETFs and it's going to be my daily forecast for Friday, April 16, 2021. If you like support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over at the Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the ARK and as you can see, we're trading just above the 40 exponential at 126. Technical indicators there are favoring the upside in this ETF but we're getting fairly overstretched. We did hit the top of the bull Japan yesterday and got rejected there. And at this current stage, we are just hovering just between the 40 exponential moving average and the 100 moving average. If we manage to break above the 150, then we may see this go back to the previous highs, all time highs over here. But if you look at technical indicators, they are all favoring the upside, but we are on the edge of being overbought. So pullback at this point will most likely find major support here down at the middle of the bullish band at 120 uh, before rallying uh, to the upside. So let's look at DVI. So DVI has rallied yet again. We are trading just above the 20 exponential and basically have taken out the, these all time highs here. So at this current stage, we're getting fairly overstretched. We're basically at the top of the bullish band. We are also significantly overbought here in the RSI. Otherwise, technical indicators are still favoring the upside. Pullbacks towards the 20 exponential are basically are expected to be bought into. And uh, yes, this just continues. We are still in this channel. And as long as that is the case, uh, buying on the dips is basically uh, the way to go. So we're trading at 117. And that doesn't look like any um, any amount of weakness in this of major pullbacks whatsoever. So let's look at VTI. So VTI also um, got to its very highs today or basically record highs. And at this current stage, we're trading at a 216. We can see here we are significantly still at the top of the Bollinger Band. We're at a really high RSI. So a pullback at this point is going to be expected. There were really good numbers out in the United States today for for both retail sales and um, and um, and also also job numbers and uh, and that basically pushed this market even higher. But at this point, we're getting really overstretched. So a pullback towards the middle of the bullish band down here at the 209. That wouldn't be surprising if that were to occur before it continuing higher. Other technical indicators are very bullish at this point, but we are getting very overstretched and overbought at this current stage. So MC Hegi. So this uh, continues to uh, basically have find problems, but to be fairly honest, we are trading just at the uh, 81. 80 and uh, it doesn't look like this is going to rally anytime soon where when we try to rally we are finding a major resistance at the 20 exponential the 450 and so on and the major uh, and the bottom here is basically the 200 moving average which is trading at the 79 at this current stage technical indicators do favor the upside at this point so we may have another run at the 20 exponential if we break above that then we head towards the 40 at the 84 and probably to the 100 at the 84.94 break below here of course the uh, the 200 moving average will offer major support so let's look at ivv so also here we are basically at the top of this uh, of this channel and at this point, a pullback should be expected. We can see the RSI is significantly high, and uh, we are basically at the top of this basically this channel. Technical indicators are very bullish still, uh, but a pullback towards the middle of the bullish band, or give or take a 403, and that could be expected before going higher. So the 50, 40, and the 20 have offered major support in the past. And uh, usually when we get this overstretched, as you can see here, we fall back all the way down to the 50 and also the 100 moving average before going higher. The same goes here and so on. So we've basically been bouncing up that for a really long time now. And uh, yes, it looks like it's about to head back into 
one of those pullbacks. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.